Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is your boy Lewis right here. Today I got a cool tutorial where I'm going to go ahead and show you how to encrypt your folders. So let's go ahead and get started right away, okay? Yeah, I got a offer for you. It's called Invite Folder Locker. Just, uh, go to that website right there. It's You download it and uh, let's go ahead and install it, alright? I'll go ahead and show you how this works from scratch. So. Okay, let's go ahead and begin the um, installation process. We're just gonna go ahead and uh, click the, the default. Okay. All right, so right after you install the software, you have to set a password for the uh, software itself, so. Let's go ahead and do that. You confirm the password. No, nope, I don't think that that's it. There we go. And then you have to enter a, a email address. That way, as it's it stays right there. Warning, email address is required if you forget your master password. So just in case you forget it, they're gonna go ahead and email you your password because you definitely don't wanna be locked out of this software. And then if you have your folders hidden or locked you're not going to be able to access the information so it's going to be complete chaos there so definitely go ahead and enter an email address right there so let's go ahead and do that okay right after you've entered your password and everything this is the graphic user interface so as you can see it's pretty simple you know pretty clean pretty straightforward and this is where you're gonna want to go ahead and concentrate this blue button right here okay so let's go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and create a couple more directories here I'll just go ahead and put test one and uh, test number two already okay Alright, let's go ahead and select um, Let's go ahead and select all of them If you want to go ahead and select more than one Either you drag all of them Or just go ahead and, and press control And then you click open Alright So let's say we're going to want to go ahead and test The one we named test number two We're going to go ahead and hide it and lock it for test number one, we're only going to go ahead and lock it. And for the one I named Lewis, I'm going to want to go ahead and set a password because you can do that. These are the options that you can go ahead and do. You can go ahead and leave unprotected. If you leave it unprotected, that means anybody can just go ahead and access that particular folder. If you hide it, then that's what you're going to be doing. You can go ahead and lock it. You can go ahead and set it to read only. If you have certain information on a folder that you you are the only person that can go ahead and modify that information and you don't want others to uh, do anything to it, either modifying it or erasing it then just go ahead and put it to read only you can go ahead and hide and lock it and also you can go ahead and set a password for a particular folder so let's go ahead and do that you can go ahead and leave the default one or you can go ahead and create a specific password for that folder i'll just go ahead and leave the default for the software itself so it's going to be the same password all right and then you exit out of that okay now let's say all right let's click refresh let's say you want to go ahead and uh access some of your information oh never mind I'll show you if you don't go ahead and uh, give any kind of permissions let's say you want to go ahead and access this folder this is the message that you're gonna get this folder is locked please unlock this file with envi folder locker firstly let's go to this one right here this is the one that we put the password remember and let's put a I'm just gonna put anything doesn't let you so 
and there we go we can go ahead and access the information all right now we do have another one that we locked in high to and we this one you go ahead and click that right there and this is it'll give you the option of what you want to do let's go ahead and to go ahead and be able to access that particular folder you go ahead and click unprotect temporarily of course and then that's what you have right there okay now let's go ahead and uh, if you really want to make this completely secure you don't even want to have an icon or anything on here you can go ahead and put all of them to hide and lock set all of them to hide and lock as you can see you don't you you don't have anything and if you want to go ahead and get rid of the icon itself there you go see as if you never have anything on and you can go ahead and select your folders from your downloads section from your documents from your desktop anywhere so let's say you want to go ahead and uh, modify your files then you go ahead and lounge it from here and it's still going to ask you for the for the password as you can see it's very very secure and let's say if you want to go ahead and have your icon back again you go ahead and uh, this is what I recommend you to do I go ahead I recommend you to go ahead and pin it to the uh, to the star which is already there and then from here you just drag it you drag it to your desktop that's if you want to have the icon on your desktop otherwise you can go ahead and launch it from your from your start menu as you can see here and then if you want to go ahead and have all of them unprotected just for a certain time if you want to do any modifications then that's when you want to go ahead and do okay now let's say I forgot to show you one more one more thing let's say that you want to go ahead and change your password you, you just go ahead and go to the settings option right here and this is where you will go ahead and you'll go ahead and put your current password and then that's where you, you'll confirm your your new password and uh, that's pretty much about it very very secure so I really recommend it it's a free software and uh, this is of course if you want to have your folders encrypted there is a different way where you don't need no software but it's only available for Windows 10 Pro you can go ahead and modify the registry but you know it's uh, I will say that's a little bit more complicated and this is very very straightforward you download the software and you do what I just showed you you can go ahead and uh, hide the uh, I'll go ahead and show you one more time right here so these are the options that you have you can go ahead and hide the uh, folders lock them read only hide and lock and set a password so alrighty I hope this was useful for you thank you very much for watching if you have any questions leave me a comment there in the comment section I'll get back to you Thanks a lot.